Greetings all, it is I, Sam Farron, and welcome back to Let's Translate Trails of the World. Last time we found out that the garden, the fairy tale garden's been taken over, this time by Ouroboros. So, yeah, we're just on our way to go find a uh, an entry point in the overworld. I'm not gonna lie, I can't remember how they explained it in the last world, like you being able to access VR from just out in the city. But they are definitely stretching it. <laughs> so I guess we just look around here and eventually we'll find one. It's ahead, let's uh, try going. Oh wait, there's uh, this shit. Oh, yeah. A thousand? Yeah, I forgot, there's also like currency. Or the Grim Garden too. I guess that's the only one way. I, I saw it and then it's gone now. Well, whatever. You know, I wasn't planning on doing this right away anyway. Let's do a connect event. I think I definitely want to do, uh, actually. Hmm. I don't usually do this, but I've read some of the, uh, descriptions of them. I usually like to be surprised, but since I actually can't choose which two I want to do. Uh, this one's about Alphonse. I guess he's acting up while the SP is trying to take him away. I definitely want to do that one. And then this one's, uh, helping Judith clean her room, apparently. And this one is helping Elaine choose an orbital bike, so... I'm still not sure, but I, I definitely want to do this one, so we'll do it now. Who knows, maybe we'll get an, a bonus support point at some point. But the thing is, I'm not counting on it since it didn't happen last time. Uh, yeah, they split up, da 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 do. I guess Agnes is back from school then. I thought this would be about uh, accepting, or like going over to help her and Ren with the student council, but whatever. Uh, I'm sorry, I was supposed to be taking him back to the official residence, but uh, he was running around and stuff in the car. I, I couldn't drive properly. Oh, it's fine. Uh, I had some time between my work too. Uh, Alphonse, you know that's uh, you can't be uh, misbehaving in front of the SP? I know Aaron was with him pretty much the whole time we were at yours, but I guess he still wants to play some more. It's rare for that many people to be around, so I guess he's even more excited than usual. But I think it would be best for us to give him a, li a nice long walk and uh, <laughs> until he calms down. Yeah, I, I guess I'll come with you, why not? I know you have a usual place you uh, walk in, so I guess let's uh, look around. Well, let's go around there. Once he's calmed down, please uh, contact me and I'll come and get you. Uh, yeah, thanks. Okay, let's go, shall we? Hey, Riverside, we haven't been here yet. Or I, I guess maybe this is one of the places we're going to go in the afternoon. Ooh. Wow, what a cute pup. What's his name? Can I uh, play with him? His name's Alphonse. Uh, feel free. This happens sometimes when I'm walking my dog too. Ah, oh, lovely boy Alphonse. Uh, I guess uh, <laughs> you have these kind of interactions when you have a dog. Yeah, there's a lot of joggers uh, around these parts, so it happens quite often. This is where he goes for walks since he started living in the official residence, uh, but Alphonse seems to like it quite a bit. Wait, we're back in the uh, old town. You even come here on your walk? <laughs> you have to like go on the train to get between these places. I oh, know this is the first time actually we've come here on a walk. Uh, I've always wanted to take him here, so I thought now would be a good chance or a good chance. Looks like Ferry and the others aren't here though. Well, yeah, they're on a break right now, but uh, I mean, you just saw them a little while ago, didn't you? Oh, Van and Anya is uh, you home? Wow, uh, it's a massive dog. Uh, he's different to Zerus. He's all like fluffy. Ah, is this the uh, the Alphonse guy you told me about? Uh, <laughs> hello, I'm Yume. Oh, he's so cute. Can I pet him? <laughs> of course. Oh, uh, Yume's playing with a dog. Get the camera, get the camera! <laughs> oh, I wonder if we have something we can, uh, give him as a treat. <laughs> My god, everyone's, uh, loving this. Oh. Speaking of dogs, my cat wants to come in. Hold on. Oh, now we're in the central market. <laughs> I wasn't planning on coming this far at first. Whenever I'm uh, walking Alphonse, it always ends up going like this. 
Oh yeah, I think I see a lot of people around here walking dogs. Yeah, there's not really any restrictions on walking them around here as long as they're well trained. And uh, near here is also... Oh yeah, Van, there's uh, a place I want to drop by. What, you uh, want to go to a shop or something? Hmm, not that, but uh, you'll see. Uh, Van was led on by Arnez to a certain facility on the outskirts of ma uh, the market. And came back out with a few companions. <laughs> oh, uh, you guys are way too friendly. Oh my, look at them all having so much fun. Just like uh, you said, Anya's. <laughs> right? Hey, don't just look, help me out here. <laughs> hey, stop licking me there. <laughs> Seriously, stop. <laughs> oh, uh, play with me too. Uh, hey, come over here. Ah, oh, that was awful. <laughs> really? I was jealous the way they all uh, crowded around you like that. You're even popular with dogs. You're a sinful man, Van. Hey, stop making fun of me. Uh, I was surprised to know that you uh, volunteered at a, like a rescue dog center. You were quite friendly with the people there. Have you known them for a long time? Yeah, ever since I was a child. Ever since uh, Alphonse, who was originally a rescue dog, became a member of our household. This guy was too? Oh, I see. I was 10 years old when we met him. My dad had some time off work for the first time in ages, so we went out together as a family. But on our way back, there was a rainstorm that wasn't on the, uh, the weather forecast. We were rushing home, but we heard faint cries mixed within the rain. The sounds of rain. Oh. The rivers and riverside were about to burst, and uh, next to them, we found this puppy shivering. My mum persuaded dad to let us take him home. We left him in the care of the dog shelter for a while, but he, uh, he would often bark at people and try and bite them. They couldn't find anyone to take him in. During that time, my mum was going around and taking care of him too. And uh, in the end, we ended up taking him in at our house. My dad asked my mum why she was so obsessed with this dog. He answered this. After seeing him once, I just felt a connection. I know that this dog Alphonse will be with Anya's uh, whenever she needs him. I mean, look at his eyes. He's got kind eyes, just like yours. <laughs> Surprised your mum said something like that. <laughs> I feel like I didn't really need to hear that though. Sounds uh, awful lovey-dovey. <laughs> I guess it does. But it's just like she said, Alphonse has always been by my side. Even after mum got ill and died, and father's uh, been kind of distant, He's, all, he's like a sibling to me. I'm kind of lonely since I don't get to see him that often now, but still. He still seems to be having fun living at the <laughs> official residence, at least. <laughs> You're making me feel jealous now. I reckon this guy has a, <clears throat> a nicer life than I do, huh? Now I'm kind of sad. <laughs> oh, come on, Van. Well, since he's enjoying his life over there, that means I guess he's not worried about you anymore. As your family, I'm sure he understands how much you've grown. <laughs> I hope so. I think that would have been uh, because of all the stuff I've done with you, Van. I hope my mum's uh, feels like she doesn't have to worry about me anymore. Uh, I'm not sure how I'd ever face your mum, to be honest. Since I'm making her only daughter do such a shady job. And also the fact that now I'm completely relying on you as my best assistant. <laughs> I think that my mum would have uh, supported me. Uh, anyway. Ah, guys! <laughs> Van? Uh, Alphonse, what are you doing? It seems like he's their favourite after all. Ah, oh, that's not nice, old man. What a lucky young one, young man. <laughs> Get them off me. <laughs> what, what was I about to say there? 
一歩をあの時そんな風に言ったけど I know I said back then that I'd take the first step sometime but But I'm the one who has to make that step. Isn't that right, Mum? After that, Alphonse was finally、uh, calmed down, so the SP came and picked him up. And、uh, <laughs> Anya's supported Van, who was completely exhausted, and they went back to the office.、Uh, oh, we got. Yeah, so Blitz and Chain stuff gets stronger. By 10%. That's not that much, to be honest, but w h a t Bands are only a few points off a level of. Actually, I can probably get some more points if I go to the cinema. My cat, he, he came in, he wandered around a bit, and then he asked to leave. And I, now I think he's back. Hold on. Alright then, I, I think it was. It's showing down there, and that's what I'm confused about, but maybe it's over here actually. Straight up showing like it's down there, but it's definitely not. What I understand. <laughs> Boy, what the hell? The elusive gate. Oops, not down there. I'm actually lost, genuinely.、Mm. What the hell is this? I don't think I've ever been up here in either of the three games. Yeah, I see something over there. Look, there's like some weird like, light thing over there. Is that where it is? I'm just confused because the map's lying to me. Oh, never mind. I was just being foolish. Ooh, it looks different. But this is the Grim Portal.、Uh, the design's different.、Uh... When、uh, we were doing it for MK. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, it's kind of like a gothic, antique y、uh, design. I imagine this is the、uh, taste of one of the ones who、uh, hijacked it from the organization, the society. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of people、uh, in the organization, or in the society, but. Well, yeah, there was that guy with the massive fur coat and the lady with the gothic dress. I guess he means Harwood and.、Uh, That's the face. Well, this is a request from a new client, and they're quite influential, so let's、uh, do this.、Uh, we should probably call the people who are waiting at the thing, too. We got a Grim Portal. <laughs> we, got, <laughs> we got tokens as a reward, as well as Mira. the hell? That was all I had to do for the request. It still says that I'm not done. Not that.、Uh, Yeah, so you're not allowed to go anywhere else. I don't know why we got the reward before. But whatever, we're in the Grim Garden. I don't see a garden anywhere, though. It looks more like a castle. Ooh. Even the sounds are dark and twisted. This is. Uh, really <laughs> feels atmospheric to say the least. Ooh. Hmm, these ruins are like on par with the,、uh, the Dark Dragon、uh, Fortress, the Black Dragon Fortress. Well, it definitely suits the whole old castle vibe. So I guess this is an area that'll serve as our like, base for、uh, clearing this place. Oh. Yeah, you,、uh, you can think of it that way. Well, I'm not sure why our、uh, enemies went to all the trouble to prepare a place like this for you, though. But anyway, we managed to reclaim、uh, this entrance area at the foundation, at the very least. Clearing the first area up ahead is the、uh, 4 SPG I'd like to request you to do very well. Let's、uh, investigate this place, see how different it was to the fairy tale one. So, once we're ready, let's go. Yeah,、uh, we should first start by selecting the members who are going to go. A place that is defined by its rules. This is my first time in one of these gardens, but I'll do my 
all. I'll give it my all about the Grim Garden. Uh, yeah, so you get more. Uh, oh, you get mini games as well. As you progress through the story. Okay, so during the first part of the story, it's required, but soon it'll be completely optional. Okay, but there's also side stories that you can get, as well as uh, other content, so they recommend you do do it. Uh, I wonder if it's going to be like the character event from Reverie. If so, then I, th I will do my best to show them. Oh, apparently you can just press L2 to... Oh. Mm, okay. I guess L2 on this menu lets you do that, but yeah. Let's get Elaine in here. I don't remember Judith being very good, but I'll give her a chance. <laughs> Who do I want to get rid of, though? I mean, Aaron's really good, you know, I guess. Mm, I don't know. I, I think Fairy will be quite useful. I, mean, I think Aaron will be too. Maybe I'll change my party before the boss. Let's, uh... Oh, pfft. Uh, this is the, like, the area select screen. I see, so, uh, it's kind of like we go up the castle as we, the areas. By the way, is that, like, peace meant to be me? <laughs> yes, uh, this is the player character that the, uh, foundation, uh, created for you. Although I guess to be more accurate, it's an avatar character that's based on you. And his name is the Hero of Shackles. Kind of, uh, cool, huh? I think you're having a bit too much fun here. Uh, I won't deny it. Oh, and I hear that with a regular avatar, uh, access was denied. In order to clear this game, or this world, you'll have to live by its rules. In that case, I'll just have to go with the flow. So I just need to go in the store, right? Yes, please do. What the hell? This is not what I was expecting. What is this place? This is the first area's stage. The player character can move one space per turn. Those are the rules. But all you can choose is a uh, forward left, forward right, or just forward. So you only have uh, three choices at max. And you can't move directly to the side or backwards. So try uh, going forward. Understood. So there's uh, different things like on the spaces. So uh, the coin is mirror, obviously. Treasure chest is treasure chest. The doors are what you need to clear. There's also like effects. You see the bottom left, they raise certain stats. Uh, the tokens are tokens. There's also, you can get into fights with pawns, and the question mark is, uh, like, anything can happen, basically. Get a treasure. Just a... Maybe I should have gone for money. Alright, now what, though? Uh, very good, you got a treasure. I see, so this is how we uh, go through it, just one step at a time. But, uh... What's this I see in front of me? It's a door mass. This is the main point of the game, or of the G Grim Garden. Beyond the door leads to uh, like dungeons, all with differing layouts. So you've got to clear those missions. They're different with each doors. So that's how you clear this place. So I guess that side of things is the same as the fairy tale garden. All right, let's do this. Yeah, you uh, you go. Okay, so this is where we kind of get the dungeon thing. This is more what I was expecting. The oh. Elven Woods. Uh, it's very pretty, but still kind of uh, gives me the creeps like that castle. Yeah, this is definitely uh, someone at the society's uh, kind of uh, taste, or perhaps there was something that influenced it to kind of turn out this way. I don't know if you can hear my cat one sec. Okay, the cat has been banished. Couldn't stop misbehaving. Uh, Van's like, yeah, so kind of like that, uh, that demon lord that was hiding at the end of the fairy tale garden, or like that. I don't even remember what they're talking about, to be honest. Van. That manuscript of the Apocrypha that was being used by the culprit was, uh, tending to be the wandering demon lord, huh? Yeah, we managed to defeat it with the help of everyone else and release that area, but things have changed even more than, uh, back then, so can't let our guards down. Well, this first area shouldn't be that hard. Let's clear this place and take out the protection or the guardian at the end. Hoorah! 
And let's figure out what the society's after as well. Oh, oh, the three, uh, yeah. So, time, space, and illusion are the higher elements, and they're in effect here. Yeah, now you can view their kind of effects on the monsters too. Mm. Oh yeah, and there's special attack bonuses too. Yeah, I love these areas. Oh yeah, that uh, awakening that Van uses. If I use Grim Cat's power, I should be able to use it too. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, go on a rampage. Now she can uh, transform into Grim Cat on the field. Yeah, so same as Van. I didn't read what I did, but, you know. Hmm, so there's, uh, interesting. So this, this is kind of the same as the uh, fairy tale garden, but it seems to be a little bit different. There's a uh, sub-quest as well as main quests. So in this tutorial, the main quest is use S-Craft three times. And then, yeah, I guess, well. Oh, it's different here now. So this one is, oops. I'll say, whatever, I can read it here. Uh, gimmick object. Or activate five gimmick objects, and then there are two enemies that we have to defeat, like five or six of. Those are the sub-quests, though, so they aren't required. Oh my god, it's really dark. It's very bright outside today. So this is not the kind of, uh... This isn't the kind of thing I want to be doing, uh... Like, dark areas, uh... This isn't the, the best environment, yeah. Oh my god, these enemies are very, uh, tanky. Oh, I don't have an awakening. Oh, is there a new battle theme too? I can't really hear it. But... <laughs> god damn it, these... I can't tell if I'm just really weak or if these enemies are tanky as shit. Let's do this! Grim Cat appears. Boom. God, this guy takes ages to stun. To be fair though, the awakening does last quite a long time. Right, now we're back. Okay. Let's play as Burgard for a bit, hold on. Give me my uh, side quest. We killed four enemies. Yeah, that was one of the objectives. And then this is a gimmick item I get, or a gimmick, whatever. Oh, I see, we got a... Do that. And then there's also these. God, it's really dark in here. I mean, I could change the brightness, but probably won't matter. It doesn't help that I don't have curtains in this room. Punchy, punchy! Yeah, hopefully there's a terminal at the end, because I definitely need to stock up on a. Or I, I need to buy new weapons for people aside from Van and Terry. He is dead, there we go. I guess even darker when I use... Now that seems to be, you know, that's just a gimmick. Uh, whatever it is. Okay, yeah, yeah, Van just has the best DPS, it seems like. Nice. Because it's you. Because it's you. Boom. Oh, Quatralander Craft. Uh, serious impact. I think I read that right. Whatever, yeah, I, I killed some guys. Still didn't get notified of uh, completing a quest. Okay, so we're still... Oh, I see, you got to kill... Oh, that's just a... Uh... Oh, I'm dumb. Okay, yeah, I, I I didn't read the whole thing. The bottom one is kill enemies on a field battle. That, that was six. And the uh, one in the middle is kill enemies in a command battle. So it's not the type of enemy. I just couldn't be bothered to read the Katakana. That was literally just laziness on my end. Actually, let's get a... Okay, I'm dumb, by the way. I was like... Organizing my party, but uh, am I dumb? What am I doing? Tactics. 
Yeah, here we go. So, uh, yeah, we have eight party members. Everyone who's here is in the party. Yeah. What am I doing? This is not... <laughs> I'm being dumb. Let me get Elaine in here. Because I haven't played as her yet. <laughs> Seems to be the same as always. Wait, can I do a connect event in here? No, you, wait, you can? That is pretty weird. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, this water looks cool. I mean, it's just red, but... Yeah, I haven't been, uh... Well, it doesn't matter. They don't need to give that much stuff, but, uh... Alright, whatever, I'll do the active voice later. <laughs> this battle theme is sick, by the way. I was listening to it while I was, uh... Killing guys off screen. It was hard to listen to talk at the same time. Oh, this is new! I mean, the craft itself isn't, but the animation is. That's very, very cool. Oh, this guy's got 45 HP. What do you think you're doing? You think you can escape? And the Blitz. And boo. Damn. Oh, I guess we're like slightly over level since our new party members who just joined. Are uh, actually uh, falling, or well, they're, they're a little bit behind. That's double ten. Right, there's not really. These guys don't get that much experience. I don't think there's really any reason to kill them all. That is not what I was trying to do, but okay. I, I forgot about this. VR! This is my first time using it, but it really does make you doubt uh, reality. I thought that I was more used to it, but uh, the speed at which technology advances is incredible. And the all the society that managed to take it over so easily is also pretty insane. We're still uh like we're guarding against their astral code at MK. But uh well we won't let the organization get what they want. Like whatever they're after. Oh there we go. Bro, so opening a chest resets the music, or at least the battle theme, that's kind of weird. Yeah, Elaine's charge attack is really good, and it charges up very fast, too. But I don't remember using her that much in the second game. Probably because I was completely uh, enamored with Shizuna instead, but... Well, let's check out some of our other ones. This is a single target one. It's not exactly what it does. Is this new? Um, no, it's not. I think it's a new animation, though. <laughs> It, pfft, nice one, dude. <coughs> and he just died of his burn. That's what I don't get about this combat system. I, I've complained about this in every single game. But why do the enemies only have one attack in the field? When they, like, they have so many different animations that they could use. Why was it so... Why couldn't they have just programmed hitboxes for some of those? And just, like, taken them from the command battle and given to them in the field battle. But even if it's just, like, two or three attacks total, like, that would at least... It would at least add some variety and challenge to the... To these battles. I'm not after like super complex AI or anything, but 
just a little bit of uh Actually, will I even be able to get this one here? I think I'm only after one more. These guys are pussies. Honestly, these are areas that are bigger than they were before, I think. Like, if I check the full map... Whoops. Maybe it's actually not that big. What, what am I missing? Wait, do I have them all? Oh, I'm missing one. Imagine if I'm soft locked. Imagine if the games like, cause I, I assume these are procedurally generated. Imagine if it just didn't generate enough of these pillars for me to activate. Oh, you know what? No, uh, I'm I'm being dumb. I think there's more than one area to this. I think that's what's going on here. I think I can access this teleporter here. <laughs> Out of the way. Guess I'll pick up these tokens while I'm at it. You get 40 per, like, crystal. That's pretty decent. Oh, wait, never mind. This is one. It, it doesn't show up on the map. Yeah, it does. Never mind. I'm just completely dumb. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. There we are. The door is now open. They haven't actually given me the tutorial for how to use the tokens yet, so... Oh, wait. Right, no? Uh, oh, wait, no. Huh? Did I just go back to the start? Is, is that what I... Oh, okay, we go over here now. And this is a different teleporter. Stage clear, ne? Yeah. And we get some uh, cheeky rewards. We don't get to choose between stuff. I remember that was a thing in the other game. Wait, we can either get an attack buff or we can choose to do a door. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Let's get the attack one then. Yeah, so, we, so our attack power increased with that. And yeah, I guess it's boss time. But first, has to load. Do we get a terminal? We do. Uh, we don't get to buy any. Uh, that's annoying. Well, I think this boss is going to take a while, no matter what it is. So <laughs> I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys for watching. And next time, we're going to. Find out what the deal is with this uh, grim garden. So I'll see you guys then.